Hello and welcome to this short resolve tip. Baked in clips can come in handy, especially when your XML doesn't transfer a particular file over to resolve. What is a baked in clip and when's the best time to use one? If you've got a nested sequence in Premiere Pro or a compounded clip in Final Cut 10, XMLs don't like these compound clips and nested sequences and baked in clips are one way to get your files across ready for grading. However, this is not a baked in clip. I'm going to show you this demonstration in Premiere Pro. We've got this sequence here and we're going to bring it across to Resolve. So the process is going to be File, Export, Export Final Cut Pro XML. So over in Resolve, I bring in the clip and I notice already that there is one clip that hasn't come in. Now I know I need to bake that clip in and it's at the 18 second mark. So back over in Premiere Pro, I locate the clip and I put it on a second timeline, which I've already done. And I always like to add at least a second handle on each side of the clip before I export it. We'll call it Baked In 1 and store it in the Baked In folder and export. Back over in Resolve, we can bring that clip into the media pool and then drop that clip in over the top. Because it's got extra handles by one second, I have to shorten on this side by one second and shorten on the other side by one second as well. Add your transitions and you're ready to start grading. If you like this clip, give it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to find out how color grading can be part of your workflow, contact us, info at h52.net, and I'll see you next time.